Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special soul talk. I'm going to talk about the equinox that we are about to have tomorrow. Now, I got some insight and I'm building on that insight that I received in and that was talked about in this week's Waxing Quarter Moon Energy Insight. So if you have not seen it, I recommend you watch it. Um, I won't be necessarily giving word for word messages, but I am basing the reading, um, the extended reading of that today. So before I get started, I was guided to pull a angel card um, and to call in a specific angel to bless this event. The equinox is, is an energy to help us find balance or bring more grace and understanding in our life. Now, if you are in a Northern Hemisphere, you are, the equinox will help bring more information to help you know what balance is in your life right now. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, Nope, sorry, I got that backwards. I got that backwards. Right now, in the Southern Hemisphere, it's a fall equinox. Um, so it is bringing and uh, giving you information, giving you information to help you find your feet, help you know what balance is in your life. That's if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, it is, it is um, helping you give yourself the grace and the have and have the understanding that you need to find your creative, creative urges creative nudges to tap into that fire within you so that you can build on the rest of the year, the rest of the seasons before you. So, so that it prepares you in, gets you into that full spring breaking ground, um, nurturing or seeding the abundance. Um, so there's a harvest in the fall. So with that being said, this is the card that I pulled it's called Beautiful Human. And I just kind of want you to look at that. It is powerful. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it so that we are all, are all blessed with the words. This is a deck by Alana Fairchild. Called angelic light work. It's called beautiful human. What knowledge of yourself gives you innate confidence? A charismatic glow. It is the realization that you are a divine being, a spiritual light in a pre precisely unique human form. Cast aside the old stories and, ex and external measuring sticks. You are a perfect expression of divine creativity, a sacred work in process, a living meditation in motion. You are stardust, blood, bone, spirit, light, spice, space, music, and art. You are a divinely designed human. Even in your moments of mess and mayhem, you can take pause and remember that within your heart, 
dwells the most beautiful of all beauty, the most miraculous of all miracles, the purest of all purity, the most powerful of all powers, divine love. Rest in that, breathe and smile. And this is our response. Archangel Gabriel, thank you for your presence and for bringing the gifts of spiritual messages, higher understanding and inner healing for the greatest good of all. You wash my heart and mind in the sacred waters that cleanse and renew the soul. And I am ready to experience healing and rebirth. Please hold and protect the sacred space for healing to happen according to the divine wisdom. My heart is open to you, beloved angel. I surrender to your protection and guidance of this sacred work. So be it. I love that. I love that. So the energy that's coming in, whether you are in the Southern Hemisphere or the Northern Hemisphere, that the energy that we are feeling is an Ace of Wands, which is a an, an initiation of fire within, um, of a creative energy that is soul aligned and lights up your soul in various ways and lights up helps you light up your life in a in a way in a new way in a new way now if i'm going to call talk about the southern hemisphere first so in your in your fire element in which is your your soul your spiritual journey it is the fire that you have deep within your soul your 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 fire your 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 own empowerment towards the life that you are creating in that initiation of the equinox that's where you're going to start and it is knowing it is knowing the knights of wands is knowing the abundance that you have when you are in your passion so if you can think about that that's where you start that's you start that that's where your feet are planted when you are when when you know abundance when you are doing something passionately that matters to you and you can see abundance and know abundance and you know the worthiness of it that's where you want to start remember this is what this is this journey for the equinox for a southern hemisphere is to help you find balance in some way that there may be imbalance in your life and I'm getting that there are some of you that are maybe watching where you have habits or routines that were healthy, that are healthy, but they've either become stagnant or you've grown enough that you've stretched it to the point where it's now an imbalance if you do them. So it's, it's noticing that you're passionate about it but there's something there that is creating imbalance. So it's understanding what that is. So I want you to reflect on that. Give yourself the space that you need in order to do the reflection, in order to find the imbalance and know how to create balance in those moments, for those moments. So the air, which is knowledge your mind your mental well-being the air part of it is the nine of pentacles now the nine of pentacles is it is forgiveness it is forgiveness in in a ground energy 
So a ground energy is action that creates abundance. So was there, was there something or is there something where you're not taking action that you need that, that it, when you are wanting abundance or when there is, when there is abundance being worked towards? that you need to forgive yourself for or forgive another person. And then from an emotional standpoint, you want to focus on entering a happiness when you're thinking about something that passionately means something to you, that is heart-centered, that is soul-aligned. So when you're doing this work, the goal is to enter some happiness, I ha like to choose happiness. And when you do that, you'll find your feet by having the knowledge, the Queen of Swords, is having the knowledge that this was, this brought joy. This was happy. It, it was, it brought you to the happiness that you wanted, that you desired to help you find balance. So it's, it's information that's given to you, a knowing, a logical, a logical answer to why you needed to do that to find balance. Now it may be a routine. You may be asking, okay, so why why would I need to do for why would I need to do forgiveness if it if it has to do with a routine? Have you been doing that routine diligently? No. Did you receive insight that it maybe was keeping you stagnant in some way by doing that routine. Knowing that you were still unbalanced, but this is what it was your go-to, so you kept doing it. Forgiveness, either way. Okay. I'm gonna pull some more cards for the Southern Hemisphere before I go into the Northern Hemisphere. And I want to explore the different deck, a Tarot of the Divine, which is a beautiful deck that I just picked up um, by Yoshi Yosh Yoshitani. Is there anything else to help those entering into tomorrow? Entering into the equinox, knowing the creative energy and it's worthwhile creating space to explore how to find balance. Cards, three reasons. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is is knowing the value of the information that you are about to receive. Knowing that that pathway that you are on will have value with the knowledge that you are about to receive. 
So that will help you to know to create space to explore how to find balance in some way that is not working in your life. Um, then I got two major arcana cards. I got the hangman and I got death. Now, the hangman is a significance of a physical. So there's a significance like a reason, there's a reason that is significant to how you want your life to be. And it's not working right now. So creating balance, creating space to try and find more balance in your life will help you understand the significance of doing that getting that information will help you it's connected to to your your goals in in how you want your life to be something to do with your physical reality your physical life could be about your physical health your physical well-being um death card is not something to concerned about the death card is a transformation in the physical so it means that if you have if you know the value if you know the value of the of the information that you are about to receive in order to find balance if you can hold on to that and be willing to create space for your life in order to know understand how to create more balance you will know you will under, you will discover the significance of that and it will create transform transformation in your physical life if you're willing to take action now if you remember a waxing quarter moon is about in your lower chakras so it is about trying to sit with your passions know your passions and then align with them and take action if you are passionate about your life and you want balance you want more balance you will do the actions that you need while you're in alignment with your passion with the passion you're creating in your life i love that is there anything else that we can get for helping the southern hemisphere Oracle deck, Christ Consciousness by Amanda Ellis. Peace, calm, centered, calm mind. Hmm. Look at that. Those rocks are in balance. Calm center, calm mind, peace. Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> Denial and weakness, Peter energy. Okay. So let's first look at, we're actually, we're going to look at Peter energy. Seven. Because some people may be going, nope, don't need this. Talk to the hand. I'm going to ask you to hold on. Hold on. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, I will be getting to that. So just hold, hold, please. So there may be shadows. Pulling this card today may signify this shadow aspect that's coming up for you now. So when we are looking for balance we will we will be that what will be shown to us is a shadow moment it's a misaligned misalignment in energy that's what's creating the imbalance so yes 
When you go within, what are you denying? See, I talked about that. I talked about that. Is it something that you've been denying? A routine or something that, you know, emotionally you were connected to and you denied it, you dismissed it. fear of what others may say think or do we may be unaware we are in denial with patterns so ingrained to expect nothing or settle for less than we deserve we are oblivious to what we miss out on we can deny ourselves kindness healthy food time to pause healing forgiveness or an opportunity to begin again or to listen to our spirit when in denial, deep within, we, we know there is another way to be. Something that needs acknowledging, doing, or changing. But we sit unable or unwilling to face it. Very often, we deny the one thing that we really need tied into feelings of fear, unworthiness, or not knowing how to access our own power and light. How many times have you denied the magnificence of who you really are and what you can do. You have the answers, capabilities, and resources within you always. Ooh, I love that. Okay, just a reminder. Peace, calm, center, mind. There are many ways we can be triggered, angered, and made to feel unsettled, all of which profoundly impact our body and can result in us making poor decisions and choosing rationally from a place of panic or confusion rather than considered judgment and balance. Peace is so needed in our world and in our lives and it is made possible when we pause, breathe and recenter, clearing our thoughts and aligning to our best selves. In many ways, the art of stone balancing demonstrates this well, being able to stand tall Balancing different things, reaching up to a single point of focus and defying the laws of nature or reason by saying staying strong despite wild waters and winds trying to destabilize its structure. To be the peace in the eye of the storm while others bicker or fight, to stay aligned when it is hardest, this is the goal we strive for when, when, and when it matters the most. Peace doesn't have to be elusive or achievable only when conditions are right. It can be found in the middle of a storm and, in an innis, and is an inner state gained via setting intentions to be so to be so by the way by way of peaceful acts, calming words and and calm posture, breathe, and manner. In every moment, we have a choice regarding how we respond to anything. Do we choose peace, or do we choose a version of war? Will we enrage, inflame, or irritate, often by being in ego, seeking confrontation, belittlement, or argument, or will we be in peace and come from our heart, offering something softer? Hmm. It's food for thought, isn't it? It is. Okay, I get two cards from the Gateway deck by Denise Lynn. Opening to love and soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. My heart is open. So when you're, when you're doing this work to try and find more balance or create routines that find more balance, it's opening yourself up to up to love and I love the fact that there's a fire coming out of the heart because it means that that is lit 
your heart is lit with a soul aligned fire to help guide you in your life. And I'm going to pull something from Divine Archangel Metatron deck by Amanda Ellis. So when you find yourself imbalanced in some way, it's retreating, resting, and pausing. It's going into a place where I, I call it a place of no thing. It is leaving the expectations at the door, going into a space to help you find balance and help you find that abundant moment where you can find your feet in a in a in a moment where you you didn't you weren't sure-footed or when you're exploring why you don't feel sure-footed it is going into that it's a valley it's a valley a place of no thing and you're leaving the expectations of what you will receive for information at the door so that you can your soul can guide you so you can be guided by the, by a an aligned light a divine light within you to help you move forward in a way that maybe you didn't expect love it love it love it okay I am, no, I'm going to put the pin back because I may come through for the Northern Hemisphere. Before I go into the Northern Hemisphere energy, both energies are sitting in a spring breaking ground energy. It, there's something trying to break through um, a crusted, dry surface. Something that is, so there may be some resistance there that people will feel, but if you notice the resistance, and the resistance may be emotional um, because we are in a we're in we're in an emotional time period right now we got water upon water energy so let's use that water to soften the ground and nurture what's trying to come through so recognize the emotions and allow it to seep through knowing that there's freedom there's there's balance coming through for your for their southern hemisphere and you're nurturing the seeds that you've already planted so that they can come through and help you know balance if that makes sense I know you're not in spring, you're in fall. But think of it as, say, okay, my, my grandpa was a farmer and he would plant winter wheat. So that there would be, a, there would be another, a second harvest. So he would harvest in the spring and the fall. So, <clears throat> there, is, there is something that people planted late in the season in the summer, summer hemisphere. There was many people that did. And it, and it happens, it happens because we are on a journey that is never ending. You are on, you're on loops, you're on, you're on this, no, not a loop. 
you're on you're on an energy that is growth and expansion and there will be different points in harvest so if you are on a quantum journey the seasons you are physically experiencing may not reflect the seasons that you are in on a personal growth journey does that make sense i hope so so lots of you that will be watching will find yourself trying to break free or have something start growing and expanding in your life that's the energy uh, that spring energy that is bringing new life new fire into your into your physical reality into your life that you're creating that is the energy that is trying to break break through and in order to do that in order to bring more fire into your life the way to do that if you are in the southern hemisphere right now based upon the equinox energy if you're going to work with the equinox energy you're going to be looking exploring to see where you can find more balance in your life so that you can have your feet planted and moving forward in action that is passionately aligned and logical to happiness make sense excellent okay ooh, ooh, ooh. northern hemisphere <coughs> you're my people <laughs> southern hemisphere you're my people too but i don't live in a southern hemisphere i wish i did some days i put it's minus 40 out um <laughs> northern hemisphere we are in order to ignite in order to ignite that passion within our life about something that we want to be passionate about some bring something new and exciting into our life we are looking for a swan moment we are looking to create more grace and nurturing energy and it could be through forgiveness as we seek to understand the fire within us okay so we're going to start with our ground energy now where are you planted where are your where's your feet when you are standing in balance logically what makes you happy that's where you're going to begin then emotionally what does that feel like when you are aligned in that passionate that passion energy connect the happiness are you with me hope so then we're going to go into the air the, the mind and you're going to look for A, an abundant moment where you allowed yourself to be heart centered and set free through forgiveness. Or a place where you may need to do forgiveness 
in order to move forward in that heart-centered space in that in order to move forward with that project or that idea or that goal that life goal that you've had passion filled goals are or projects that you're working on for your life are are life goals they're heart centered they're they ignite a fire within you and when you do that you will know abundance in that fire, in that passion. That's the pathway. That's the pathway for tomorrow, working with tomorrow's equinox energy. Okay? Now, I am going to pull a magic of unicorns to see how that helps oh no actually actually I am getting uh, the nudge to expand on the forgiveness part the the nine of pentacles The nine of pentacles. So usually when you are in, it's understanding forgiveness in a ground energy. It's understanding the value of forgiveness in, in abundance. In what does it bring abundantly to your life when you allow yourself to forgive yourself or to forgive another for, another for something. For me, it's freedom to be able to know how to move forward. Three. Mm. Okay, so three messages for that. We've got the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a free will choice to choose. choose a spiritual alignment that matters to you choose a journey towards healing and choosing to look at the energy flowing through your soul to know that you are worthwhile that that what you're about to do is worthwhile it's of value and worthwhile strength the strength card is a it's a brand new physical energy divine energy it is creating something new in your physical life or creating new energy or feeling new energy flowing through your physical body so forgiveness has that power of doing it it, because when you forgive you enter into a healing energy and you and you allow your accepting the healing energy flowing through your physical mental emotional and spiritual well-being and then the two of cups the two of cups is a timing for emotions coming together it is not necessarily needing to go to the other person and tell them that you forgive them. But it is knowing that, accepting that now's the time to face that emotion within yourself and allow the healing, the emotional healing to happen. Mm, I love that. Love that. Okay. Let's do magic of unicorns. We'll do a message from it. Ooh, 
What's this? Ascension Flames. Ignite Keys and Codes. And New Opportunities. Declutter your life, glimpse a magical doorway. Okay, so in swan moments, we're looking to it find our fire again, right? So it's, it creates new opportunities. Ascension flames is, hmm. Well, let's look. Let's look, see what comes through for that because it's, it's healing, it is it is finding the fire an ascension flame is an etheric fire containing specific keys and codes to accelerate your spiritual journey that's what we're trying to do we are but it's it's igniting a fire within us so that we can enjoy life and we can create a life that we love When this is placed over you, it ignites the highest forms of love within your energy fields. Fields. Ooh, love it. Love it. Okay. Um, what, is, what, what messages from Christ consciousness will help us today? Gabrielle, thank you. Thank you so much for your messages of love. Faith over fear. Follow my lead in humbleness. Nope, I'm getting this one too. Okay, four cards. Four cards. So faith over fear. You can cope. When you're on this journey, a swan journey, it's having faith instead of fear. It is... Trying to calm the storm. Trying to calm the storm within your life. It's having the nurturing, loving energy to try and calm the storm. I don't know if I can forgive. I don't know if I have the power within me to find that fire that I need in order to move forward. You do. Have faith. We got a Jesus card. Follow my lead. Hmm. gonna scan to see where where are the messages his light can steer support and guide you on in times of smooth sailing and more thunderous days never mocking, scolding, harsh, or unavailable. His energy is always there day and night to walk beside you. Jesus is soft, compassionate, gentle, and wise, and offers unconditional love, something we rarely experience in its fullest expression. It can reduce us to tears as it fills our heart with warmth to all. He asks that you try to live by the standards he set to bring down the Christ light to all who need it by simply embodying it and shining your light. 
having swan moments is trying to find your light trying to know your light trying to be in your light and many times you can do that by knowing that you are unconditionally loved and accepting that unconditional love Humbleness, modesty, and humility. Become aware of the moments we get to serve this world in small ways and larger ones, from tending to the overgrown garden, helping nature to flourish, to baking, up to the baking of bread to feed our families. If we can consciously address each task and moment as an opportunity to demonstrate Christ consciousness, we contribute so much more than we realize, particularly when we do it with love. Do not judge anything as more worthy of our time or attention. The cleaning of a home or the washing of clothes is just as important as the pressing work assignment or challenging project. It's a good point. Your life goals, what you passionately want for your life. Does it include tending to those closest to you, those nurturing relationships that you have, those the the value you the value and worthiness that you have in the home environment that you're in, in the time that you spend in your home. Nurturing yourself and those around you spending time with yourself and those around you unity coexist and tolerate tolerance coexistence and tolerance okay there's a lot going on in the world right now it's finding your passion and knowing where where it is what aligns with you matters. I did a video on that in the 2024 predictions. Um, we all say we seek a unified, peaceful world. And yet the truth is that to achieve that goal, we must start with ourselves to hold peace and unity within in and in our everyday life. If we're not able to do this, we will be scattered since every part of everything is reflected within us. So today, feel into where you are feeling an absence of unity. It may manifest via trying to put on a brave face, or it could be unexpressed emotion, interest, or desire, something you truly wish to be or do, but are unable to freely express or show yet. Very often, we can present the face others wish to see, not always, but how we truly are deep and down. Ooh, a mask energy. What once may have worked may no longer fit, and within relationships, putting on a united front for others can hide pain also. Mm -hmm. Within a family group, there may be arguments, misunderstandings, or disagreements over how to handle or deal with an issue. There may be an ag aggravation caused by neighbors, business colleagues, new family members, or a new person who alters the status quo. Anything that encroaches on our energy or disturbs our inner balance is relevant, since when we are in harmony, we feel at peace and can maintain an inner order. A misconception is that unity means we must agree on everything, whereas living in unity is about being tolerant, being able to coexist, and being able to being open to listen and for the same courtesy to be extended back to you. 
It's honoring ourselves and honoring others. Whatever needs healing now, see it as an opportunity to bring, us, bring parts of yourself together or others together. It may not be easy or straightforward path, but working from the heart and for the right reasons for all concerned will be a rewarding one. Mm. Well said. Well said. Okay, let's do a Archangel Metatron and then we'll close off the message for a Northern Hemisphere. Okay, we got passion, love for life, duality, balance needed, and Archangel Sandalphon with you now. Okay, let's explore what exactly is trying to, what Metatron, what are you trying to bring through? So passion for life, that is what you're seeking. But there is a duality within you and that's needed for balance. It's understanding what that duality is and forgiving yourself for it. So often we seek to label something as right or wrong, good or bad, and yet in life negative and positive energies serve each other. Any experience you're living through, even in difficult, painful, or upsetting, has the hidden gift of bringing something positive to you now. It's understanding it so that you can, you can forgive yourself, forgive another, so that you can find that passion in life once again. Nothing happens that isn't meant to happen. The soul knows what it needs to learn, to grow, and also what, is, what it has signed up for in this lifetime. So too does every other soul in your life, even if you can't understand the choices they make. If you're seeing, so rather than labeling what you struggle with now as unfair and unjust and seeing only its bleakness, look again and see the light within from those who dry your tears as they care for you to the unexpected smile of a stranger that pierces through the darkest day. Light is always there in the hard times too. So it's understanding the, the abundance. So it's looking for the logic in the abundance, the abundance, your ground. So what it's it's looking for the happiness moments. So that's what that that's that's what this card's about. So we're looking for passion, but we start with looking, knowing that there is happiness in our life, and there may be misalignment there may be stuff going on that is not pleasant but it's giving ourselves a loving swan moment loving ourselves no matter what loving ourselves in this moment an archangel sandalphon reminds you that the ideas, goals, and ambitions that 
you're encouraged with can best be achieved by taking your time, treading softly, and severing every part of the journey. The summit of the mountain can be reached and awaits you, but you need to be gentle and create time for yourself to reach the end goal in good health and spirit and of sound mind. To be fixed only on the summit means you lose sight of all the wonders and learning experiences at each step of the intended journey to your destination. Celebrate each step. Each action that you do in alignment within your fire is abundance. It's a good reminder. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> okay. I hope you enjoyed this message. And I wish you all well in the equinox tomorrow or if you're in the southern hemisphere it may be coming up very quickly take care much love do like share subscribe if you haven't already and uh, until next time be you